everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be our November morning basket. Now, I am probably about to shock all of you when I tell you that our November morning basket is going to be animal themed. I had planned to do a Thanksgiving theme. I actually had totally put our Thanksgiving theme together when about a week before Emily begged me for a veterinarian unit because she was really, really interested in learning more about that. And so it just seemed fitting that if we were going to be doing a veterinarian unit, that obviously her interest lied in animals. So I shifted gears and we will be doing an animal themed November morning basket. If you are looking for more Thanksgiving type of resources, I will link a video up here for you guys because last year that is exactly what we did for November. We did a Thanksgiving basket. So I will link that in the iCards in the sky and I will also link that in the description box down below so that you can get some more ideas if that is what you are looking for. But this month what's going to be in our morning basket is going to be mostly animal themed. Now our morning menu will be just like it has been previously. We have our calendar time where we go over the days of the week and the months of the year. We have our poem of the month, which is from Learning Through Literature. This is a free download. This month is When the Frost is on the Pumpkin by James Whitcomb Riley. We have the poet bio. And then we will be doing our last Leonardo da Vinci painting from the Simply Charlotte Mason um, picture study portfolio. So that's why this is in here so we can finish reading about it. And we have our November squilt music for the month. This is the November um, listening calendar. And it looks like we are going to be celebrating Aaron, Aaron Copeland. So that will be the beginning I do loop through the poetry, the art, and the music, meaning we only do one each day. So we do calendar time, and then we either do the poetry, the art, or the squilt listening calendar. We do not do all three in one day. The next thing that we have is our Bible or devotion. This month, I will be using the five-minute devotions for children and more five-minute devotions for children. Most of these are based on animals. So I thought it would fit in very well because it's all based around animals. And it's just this beautiful devotion and then what God says about it. What do you say? What does God say? So it's really, really fun. Very simple. And I think she's really going to enjoy it that it has to do with animals. So that will be our Bible and devotion. Next, we have our fairy tale, folk tale, myths, and legends. And I actually have three different ones that we're going to be reading from. I have the James Harriet Treasury for Children. I have the Barefoot Book of Animal Tales Around the World. This is gorgeous, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun to read through this one. And then I also have the Angela McAllister's A World Full of Animal Stories, 50 Folk Tales and Legends. And we love everything that she's done, and this is no exception. Beautiful illustrations, fun stories, and this one is actually separated by continent. For our read aloud this month, of course, we could not have an animal basket without reading through the story of Dr. Doolittle. So that will be what we are doing for our read aloud. For our picture books, I actually just got a giant stack of the National Geographic Kids Readers because Emily loves these books and there are so many different levels. They will range from her being able to read by herself to us doing some shared reading with them. Um, so I got all of the ones the library had on animals, and we have a stack here at the house too. So this is what we will be reading for our picture books for the month. For Mad Libs, I got Mad About Animal Mad Libs. Now this is not the junior, this is the original Mad Libs, because in case you missed it, Emily requested that Mad Libs Junior be things that we do in the car for her to do by herself. And for when we're doing Morning Basket together, we do original Mad Libs that I write. For our journal, we are still working our way through our Big Life Journal for Kids. We absolutely love this. It's really, really great for a growth mindset. So that is what we are doing this month. Then next up, we have games. The first game I have is actually just a book game. It's an animal trivia questions book from Usborne. These are super, super fun. And they're really 
quick and easy. So it's like which fish is sold, I'm sorry, which fish is said to have the most painful venom of any animal in the world? And then your answers are in the back of the book. I also have spotted animals. Now this is actually a spotted junior. We've had it for a while. And in case you've never seen a junior, I wanted to show it to you. The spotted juniors only have six images on the card versus the normal nine, which makes it a tiny bit easier. So if you have a young, young child and you want to learn to play spotted, you might want to look for a junior version because the animals, like I said, there's, or any of the junior versions just only have six and they're a little bit larger per card. It makes it a little bit easier to spot. So this one will be a little bit easier for Emily, but I thought it would still be fun to have the animal one since it tied in. I also have our animal brain box, which this is a super fun game. You pick a card and you turn the timer over, which is for 10 seconds, and you study everything that you can on this card. You read it, you try to remember it, you do everything that you can to memorize everything on the front of the card. And then they roll the dice and they have to try to answer that question. Does the Tasmanian devil have whiskers? And if you paid close attention, you would know the answer is yes. So this will be a super fun game to test our memories and learn about animals. I also have Guess in 10 Animal Planet. So this is a game where you have... 10 chances to guess an animal and the person who is holding the card can only give you two buzzwords so they get to pick which of the two buzzwords they're going to give you and then you can ask 10 yes or no questions to try to guess what this animal is so we really like guessing games like that so I knew that we would love this one and then after games, we have our mindfulness or movement. We are still working our way through the mindful kids cards. These are amazing. We really, really love them in case you've never seen them. They are just cards that have a mindful activity on them. Then on the back, it walks you through that activity step by step. So sometimes it is a physical activity like writing a letter or a note. Sometimes it is shaking sillies out. Sometimes it's like breaths. Sometimes it is just talking about something. And then we will also be doing Cosmic Kids Yoga. I will actually be making a playlist um, with animal Cosmic Kids, with Cosmic Kids Yoga that is animal based. And then last but not least, we have some of the hands on things that she will have available to her during Morning Basket. I have the Usborne Step by Step Drawing Animals book. So this just gives her a place to practice drawing a few different animals. I have the Usborne Animal Crosswords book. So she can do this while I'm reading aloud. This is from the Dollar Tree Paint with Water Animals. I believe these are also from the Dollar Tree. We have the Sticker Tivity Sticker by Number Zoo Friends and Pet Pals. Then we have Sticker Activity book Animal Friends and In the Wild. Again, I think these are from the Dollar Tree. It's just different sticker activity books. We have modeling clay animals, and she will have the choice to either use modeling clay or Play-Doh, whichever she feels like that day, to try to do some of these different animals while we are reading. I also have the Melissa and Doug Jumbo Animal Coloring Pad. Now, she doesn't use these for coloring. These are on really, really thick paper. So normally she paints these, specifically watercolor paint is her favorite. And because these are so large, it's always been her favorite to paint. So she will probably paint some of these animal pictures. And then I also have a few puzzles. So we have one puzzle set from Ravensburg. This is actually three puzzles in one. Each puzzle is 49 pieces and this is like the mom and baby set. And then I also have a puzzle set from Usborne that was a book and puzzle, and this is at the zoo. So it has the puzzle, and then it also comes with this really nice quality puzzle picture book that's at the zoo too. So she could do either of these during morning basket time.
So that is our November morning basket. We will be enjoying all things animal this month. And yes, I did mention a veterinarian unit that will be coming to you very soon. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a happy November.